What is happening? What is going on everyone? Today I'm going to be watching and reacting to Game of Thrones Season 2 Episode 4, which is titled Garden of Bones. So, last episode was pretty exciting. We had a couple of scenes with Theon, same thing we had in Episode 2. So, a lot of Theon recently. He's a character that I never really liked that much in Season 1. I thought he was fine, I thought he was okay, but starting to get more, see more of him now. I definitely don't like him as a person, but he definitely is an interesting character. And we also had uh, Catelyn going to where um renly's people are at and a lot of great scenes there i'm actually really interested in that whole storyline now with renly being married to that girl marjorie whose brother is the one he's sleeping with and uh, I'm, I'm just curious to see where that goes it's just so cool having all these different like kings i guess who are out there and obviously joffrey's the one that people consider to be like the main king but everyone else is like doing their own thing, trying to be their own king and trying to, you know, it's a whole war against kings. It's a really interesting concept and I'm interested to see if there's even more on top of that, that you know, come in later. I think there will be because I think they were talking about one, what Craster was talking about one uh, north of the wall. There was someone out there, I forget the guy's name, but he was basically like the king outside of the wall because people, people want to look towards a king. I think that's a pretty common theme in the show is that people just want someone to look up to and, and that's i guess why the concept of kings were introduced in the first place someone there to just lead and make all the decisions we had a couple of great scenes with Tyrion, as always Arya's group the group that the group that Arya's with was attacked on the road that scene was pretty crazy and then they were taken by the gold cloaks uh, i think they were bringing them to uh heron hall i don't think we've seen heron hall yet so i guess we'll see what that is and yeah so Hopefully you guys will enjoy the video. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, that'll be my Patreon. Link to that will be in the description down below. You can also get early access to these videos there. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And let's watch. Was that place called? Quarth? Arth? Orth? I don't know. The mountain. Our man Jamie. If he ever gets out. Loris Tyrell. Loris Tyrell. He's prettier than the queen. They're asking who would beat who in a fight. He's been stabbing Renly Baratheon for years, and Renly ain't dead. <laughs> oh, so they know about that? I guess a lot of people do know about that. I mean, I, maybe they're not completely keeping it a secret. Did you hear that? There's something out there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? I swear you pissed yourself. <laughs> it sounded like one of those stock fart noises, you know, like they... <laughs> yeah, don't even try me. Renick. Oh I'm no. Oh no, there is gonna be something out there, isn't there? Ah! Oh shit, are they attacking? Oh, they're attacking. Oh damn. Dude, why they have to do that fart? That was... <laughs> Ooh. They messed them up. I really do feel like they're winning. They gotta be winning, right? We're not executing prisoners, Lord Bolton. Yeah. Of course, Your Grace. The officers will be useful. Where are they keeping them prisoner, though? I'm not torturing them. The high road's very pretty, but you'll have a hard time marching your army down it. The Lannisters hold prisoners of their own. I won't give them an excuse to abuse my sisters. Yeah, that's true. No. Please. I agree with taking the high road. No, don't! No, don't! They're gonna cut it off. It's infected or something. If we don't take the foot now. No, you can't! Please. I don't want to be a cripple, please. Surely one of our Would you rather be dead? Bite on it. It's better than biting your own tongue, believe me. Damn. Some realistic sounding. I mean, I, I'm. I think it's realistic. I haven't personally heard the actual sound of that happening in real life, so I wouldn't know. But I know it's not an easy cut, so, you know, it's gonna take some going at it. I guess how different could it be than, like, cutting, like, a ham or something, you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> what's your name? It's Alyssa. Your last name? I want to know what side my family fights on. You know my family name, you have me at a disadvantage. That boy lost his foot on your orders. Uh, well, I mean, they're in a war here. Do you think he's friends with King Joffrey? I get what she's saying, but they are in war, you know. He probably never held a spear before they shoved one in his hands a few months ago. I have no hatred for the lad. That should help his foot grow back. I, I get it, though. You never told me where you're from. Valantis. Valantis? Sounds like an underwater place. <laughs> Your Grace, 
Whatever my traitor brother has done, what is I he had doing? No part. You know that. I beg you, so please. Salon, tell her of this outrage. Using some vile sorcery, your brother fell on Stafford Lannister with an army of wolves. Thousands of good men were butchered. After the slaughter, the Northmen feasted on the flesh of the slain. What? Stan. You know, I despise Joffrey. His outfit's kind of cool, though. <laughs> oh, no. Leave her face. Leave her face? What are you going to do? Oh, God. Baron, my lady's overdressed. I'm burdening her. Oh, this is pissing me off. This is pissing me off. Even the Hound doesn't like this. Oh, thank you, Ty- Oh, thank you. Thank you. He's like, literally the only sensible person in King's Landing. Someone get the girl something to cover herself with. She's to be your queen. Have you no regard for her honor? I'm punishing her. For what crimes? Yeah, really. What are you talking about? The king can do as he likes. The mad king did as he liked. <laughs> Has your uncle Jamie ever told you what happened to him? No one threatens his grace in the presence of the king's guard. Whoa. Bron, the next time Samoan speaks, kill him. <laughs> that was a threat. The best thing that could have happened at Westeros is, is Tyrion becoming the Hand of the King. That, that's the best thing that could have happened. Tell me the truth. Do you want an end to this engagement? I am loyal to King Joffrey. Oh, no, stop. I'm, she's obviously scared, so <laughs> I don't blame her for saying that. She doesn't want to get killed. The little king's wow. backed up, clogged from balls to brains. <laughs> you think dipping his wick will cure what ails him? There's no cure for being a cunt. <laughs> Damn. Your uncle left your name day present and asked me to see that you'd got it. And? What is it? Look inside your grace. A woman? How old is Joffrey? I genuinely don't know. I, I can't tell if he's like... He looks like he's probably like 18, but... I probably the character's probably meant to be like fifteen or sixteen is my guess. I don't know. Yeah, he's he's quite uncomfortable. Could you hit her? What the fuck? Does this guy only get off on like abuse? Like I don't like, what's wrong with him? Use this. Oh jeez. Even she's like, uh oh, might hurt a little. Harder. <laughs> I say. I think he just he just likes the power. This guy is just like addicted to power and control. You want her Your Grace. Too much pain will spoil a pleasure. Is he saying to stick that that thing into her? Like what? Your Grace, if your uncle finds out Oh, I want him to find out. You will bring her to his chambers when you're finished. What the fuck? Dude, this guy is insane! We already knew that, but... So, like, it's not like this is a surprise to me, I'm just... Begin. I like the music a lot. That is... that is just terrible. Oh, he's here? Yeah, I think Tyrion was talking about him talking to Catelyn. I'm a practical man, just not a loyal one. And who would you have me be loyal to? Your brother's corpse. <laughs> I don't like you, Lord Baelish. I don't really blame you for that. <laughs> Why are you here? You still have many friends at court, Your Grace. Many who believe Ned Stark erred by not supporting your claim. No, I understand. You know I have the numbers. You know I'm marching on King's Landing. When I take the throne, you hope to retain your position and your head. I would give priority to my head. I did not come here today seeking your affection. When you march on King's Landing, you may find yourself facing a protracted siege or open gates. I thought Marjorie was uh, Catelyn for a minute. They kind of look similar, a little bit. In the moment I learn which tent is mine, we're on the move again. Your tent, not... Our tent. The king snores, perhaps, or... <laughs> I did notice your brother entering his grace's tent just now. Does he know, or is, is he just a sumptuous, or presumption? Oh. It seems like he knows. We're finally seeing Daenerys again. See, I could just, I just know where 
who we're going to be with right now, just based on the location, which is really cool about this show. You can just kind of tell, you know, if it's got this really bright orange, yellowish tint to it, it's going to be with Daenerys' group. King's Landing's kind of sometimes orange, bright, but not as bright. Certainly not deserts like this. Oh, that's what Karth is? Okay, we, s we saw it in the intro. The Mother of Dragons. What do you know of this place? Only that the desert around their walls is called the Garden of Bones. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Shut their gates on a traveler, the garden grows. What? Yeah, I don't like this, but I guess it's your only shot, right? I'm interested to see that. Oh, so we're seeing a lot of characters this episode, nice. Wow, look at that. What kind of fire melts stone? Dragon fire. Oh. No, all the dragons are dead. What's that smell? Dead people. Ugh. That place looks really cool. So how's Arya gonna get out of this? What are they doing to people in here? He's dead. He was my son. My sister was three days ago. Wow. My husband the day before that. They take someone every day. Does anyone live? There's no way they're all gonna die. Well, okay, I can not guarantee, but like, I I can't guarantee anyone's safety after what happened to Ned in season one, but I, I don't feel like Arya's gonna get killed off. I'm, I'm just, I don't think so. They got heads on the, the spikes? That's fucking disgusting. Wow. Who are the people she's listing off? Just sounds like people she doesn't like. <laughs> I do realize later on it's basically her kill list. My husband trusted you. Yeah. Oh, my lady. Get up, cat. I... I've loved you since I was a boy. Oh, we know. It seems to me that fate has given us this chance to lost your mind. Get out. <laughs> we haven't seen them talk in a while. I was excited for this. Do you want to see your girls again, Sansa? More beautiful than ever, and Arya, just as wild as ever. Okay, A, Arya's not there. B, you guys are abusing Sansa. <laughs> the Lannisters will trade your daughters for the Kingslayer. Of course they will. Jamie Lannister for two girls. Rob will never agree to those terms. I'm not bringing these terms to him. I'm bringing them to you. You think I keep secrets from my son? Rob has surprised them all with his skills in battle, but he's not a mother. Yeah, Tyrion said that. He was assuming Kat would probably go for it. I've brought you a gift. I don't want your gifts. What is it? Oh, probably Ned's bones. So they can give him a proper burial, I guess. Your husband was an honorable man. He should rest beside his family in the crypts beneath Winterfell. Yeah. Wow. That was a really good scene. Dude, give Arya a break, man. She. <laughs> that's him. Thorn who picks. They just pick randomly? That's the mountain. Oh, that's the mountain? Oh, I didn't even realize. I kind of forgot what he looked like, to be honest. <laughs> he just picks? Oh, it's so messed up. You. No. Oh, wait. What? I'm so stupid. Wait. I thought that was Gendry. <laughs> I think that guy kind of looked like Gendry a little bit. <laughs> oh, and he peed himself. I probably would too. I, there's nothing embarrassing about that. I would probably pee myself too. I really thought that was Gendry. Okay, it doesn't look anything like him. I don't know <laughs> why I think that was Gendry. Right? Where is the brother? I don't know. I really believe that they don't know. Do the the rat start? Is I don't know if it's a rat or mouse. Do they? Oh, it's going to start eating through him. Because it needs to find a way out. Ooh, that is some messed up torture. Jeez. Lady Stark had not thought to find you in the Stormlands. Oh, are they meeting with Stannis? When I saw your standard, I couldn't be sure. Whose banner is that? My own. I suppose if we use the same one, the battle would be terribly confusing. <laughs> Why is your stag on fire? The king has taken for his sigil the fiery heart of the Lord of Light. Why does she only ever wear red? I never really believed you're a fanatic. Charmless, 
rigid. A boar, yes, but, but not a godly man. If you were sons of mine, I would knock your heads together and lock you in the bedchamber <laughs> until you remembered that you were brothers. It is strange to find you beside my brother, Lady Star. Your husband was a supporter of my claim. Lord Eddard's integrity cost him his head. And you sit beside this pretender and chastise me. We share a common enemy. The Iron Throne is mine. By right. Why don't they just get some good old democracy and, <laughs> and just vote? I know they wouldn't do that in these days. You never wanted any friends, brother. But a man without friends is a man without power. For the sake of the mother who bore us, I will give you this one night to reconsider. Strike your banners, come to me before dawn, and I will grant you your old seat in the council. I'll even name you my heir until a son is born to me. Oh, Stannis' music is playing. Until a son is born to me. He's expecting that, though, because he's been putting it into that one girl. Can you see all those banners? You think a few bolts of cloth will make you king? No. The men holding those bolts of cloth will make me king. <laughs> I love this music. It's like Stannis' theme, because it always plays with Stannis. It's amazing music. Oh, look at this! Holy shit! This looks like a whole new show! <laughs> that is really cool. I thought we were welcome. If you heard a Dothraki horde was approaching your city, you might do the same, Khaleesi. Horde? Yeah, there's not many of them. <laughs> My name is Daenerys Stormborn of the House Targaryen. You know me, my lord? Only by reputation, Khaleesi. And I'm no lord, merely a humble merchant. They don't do lords here? We are the 13, charged with the governance and protection of Karth, the greatest city that ever was or will be. I like these guys a lot already. <laughs> I don't know why. The beauty of Quarth is legendary. Karth. 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 <laughs> Might we see the dragons? They really are interested in the dragons, it seems. That's like the number one thing they're most interested in. I probably would be too, to be honest. We have traveled very far. We have no food, no water. Once I see my people fed, I would be honored. Forgive me, mother of dragons, but no man alive has seen a living dragon. Some of my more skeptical friends refuse to believe your children even exist. All we ask is the chance to see for ourselves. Where I come from, guests are treated with respect, not insulted at the gates. Then perhaps you should return to where you come from. Damn. What are you doing? If you do not let us in, all of us will die. Which we shall deeply regret. <laughs> I would just show them the dragons. Y'all need the food. Oh no. When my dragons are grown, we will take back what was stolen from me <laughs> and destroy those who have wronged me. Turn us away and we will burn you first. Uh, all right, now, Daenerys, you just said you were going to be dead if they don't let you in, so. <laughs> Only, as you said a moment ago, if we don't let you into the city, you will all die. Yeah. That, yeah. Retreating in fear from a little girl is unbecoming of the greatest city that ever was or will be. Oh, is this guy going to be the voice of reason here? Zaro, Zaro, and Doxos, the thirteen have spoken. Zaro. Here I am, a savage from the Summer Isles, and Karth still stands. Mm. Nice. Wow! Holy shit! This place is really cool. I mean, this is just like a whole nother world. Like, look at this. Those walls are really nice, too. Oh, damn! That is brutal. I was not expecting that. <laughs> they just cut to that. You. Who? Who? No, not Gendry. No! Come on now. Shit. I don't know how he's going to get out of this. Either that or he's dead. Oh, is he going to stop it? Maybe he's just going to, maybe just his very presence is just going to make them stop what they're doing. Dude, this guy look, uh, Tywin is such a badass looking dude. Like, <laughs> I would not mess with him. Why are these prisoners wow. not in their cells? Cells are overflowing, my lord. Then maybe you have too many prisoners. <laughs> After we interrogate them, we usually just... Are we so well manned? That we can afford to discard able young bodies and skilled laborers. <laughs> you. You have a trade? Smith, my lord. What are you looking at? Neil! 
Neil, or I'll carve your lungs out, boy. You'll do no such thing. This one's a girl. You idiot. Oh, shit. <laughs> Safer to travel, my lord. Smart. Get these prisoners to work. Okay. Bring the girl. Tywin just saved so many lives. Bearer, Need to do cup bearer. <laughs> Tywin's definitely a bad guy, but you know, at least he's not like, you know, he's using reasoning and it's keeping people alive that I want to be alive, you know? Tell me, did Cersei have you knighted before or after she took you into her bed? Oh. <laughs> Nothing to say? Yeah, I remember that. You will withdraw these filthy accusations. Have you ever given any thought? To what King Joffrey will have to say when he finds out you've been bedding his mother? <laughs> it, it's not my fault! Did she take you against your will? Can you not defend yourself, Knight? Your own father, Lord Tywin, when I was named the King's Squire, he told me to obey her in everything! Did he tell you to fuck her, too? <laughs> I did as I did. A high place in court, knighthood, my sister's legs spreading open for you at night. Oh, yes, it must have been <laughs> terrible. Wait here. His grace will want to hear this. Mercy! Mercy, my lord, I beg Save it, it for Joffrey. He loves a good grovel. It was your sister's bidding. The queen! My father told you to obey my sister. Obey her. Stay close to her side. Pleasure her whenever she requires. No one ever need know. As long as you keep faith with me. I want to know what Cersei is doing. Oh, this is so smart of Tyrion. I'll give her Pycelle. Cersei can keep him as a pet if she wants, but I will not have him on the council. Yeah, don't want no backstabbers. Hair on his head, but that would not, strictly speaking, be true. He cut his beard off. Well, he, he ordered that to happen. All right, I'm about to pause it. I just want to say something I really like about that. So last episode, we had Tyrion trying to make sure there was no spies against him. Because he didn't want you know anyone to be basically telling others what he's doing and they didn't want that right he wanted someone he could trust or only people he can trust on the council and this he is doing the exact thing just for himself he's getting a spy himself that he's going to use against cersei it's smart stuff i mean he's just he's a smart dude he's a smart dude definitely the smartest character in the show i would say oh they got their ships do your knuckle bones bring you luck well the have been good since you hacked them off your grace what he hacked them off it was an honest punishment. Oh, it was punishment? Oh. I did notice he had those missing. I've lived within the law for 17 years. I want you to be a smuggler this time. Any shore, any night. What am I bringing ashore? Your red woman. No one must know what you do. Oh? Stannis, uh, he's just... I don't know. He's been really interesting. I, I can never really read him that well. I can never really tell what he's got planned, what he's trying to do, why he's doing it. He's very hard to read compared to other characters, which I like that about him. I like a hard to read character. You want to see what's beneath this robe, and you will. Why is she always so seductive? <laughs> she she used it to her advantage though. <laughs> and she's getting naked. <laughs> why am I not surprised? Oh, she already pregnant? What? What the hell? What the fuck? What is happening? What is happening? Dude, this guy is like, he's like, what is going on? I'm just as confused. What, what is that? What the hell is that? That is not a baby. What is that? What is she giving birth to? Black ooze? What the fuck? Excuse me? What was that? Oh my god, I... I don't know what that was. <laughs> Okay, I knew there was something special about her because in episode one, she didn't die from the poison. Remember that? And I remember saying, I was like, there's something special about her. I don't know what it is, though, but she can do this, apparently. I, I mean, I don't think it's been nine months. I'm assuming that's also something that happened is she was able to give birth faster because there's no way it's been nine months since episode two. Unless it was. I have no idea. I, I just that wouldn't wouldn't really add up. No, there's no way it's been nine months. That would be impossible. There's, no, no, it wouldn't work out that way. So yeah, whatever 
it, it is it made it so she was able to just give birth a lot faster probably it have probably been a few weeks since the episode two is my guess when that's when i think that's when stannis and her did it yeah so it's been like probably just a couple weeks maybe not even um i, I don't know what that is we'll, we'll find out i did <laughs> It looked like a zombie at first, and then it just started crawling out, and then somehow became into smoke, and it was looked like it was forming a person, and then it just puffed up. I need to watch the next episode as soon as I can, because that was just... Yeah. I need to see what's going on there. A lot of other stuff happens in this episode as well. I really liked the stuff with Arya. Uh, I believe they were at... Was that Harrenhal? Harrenhal? Is that the place? I'm not 100% sure if that was the place, but I think that's where they were going, so I think that's what that is, and it seems to be like the, the prison place for um for their army and I, I do like how tywin showed up and he was basically like saying like we're not gonna waste these people it reminds me of like something they would do in like uh like with the walking dead remember with negan uh, I, actually i won't say anything about the walking dead just in case no one's seen it but or no one wants to know any spoilers about it um but similar things with like how they treat people at being a resource and not wasting it by just killing them so even though he's a bad guy he's also like we shouldn't be just killing these people we could be using them to do work and um that's that's good because it saved Arya's life it saved gendry's life so in that way it's good i don't know what kind of work they're all going to be put towards but uh I'm interested to see that uh the catelyn and will finger scene was was incredible uh, one of my favorite scenes in the episode probably i'm, I'm assuming it was yeah it was the bones because he said he wants them to have, have bury uh ned underneath uh winterfell in the crypts so it had to have been his bones and that was a really really good scene i really enjoyed that and seeing Stannis and uh, Renly meet was cool. I don't know. It's probably the first time they've seen each other in a long time, I'm assuming. So that was definitely interesting. And we didn't see any of Jon Snow this episode, which is always sad. But we'll see him eventually another episode anyway. So it's not a big deal. And Tyrion had amazing, a lot of amazing scenes as well. I feel like we see him like every episode. And every episode he's in, I'm always just so interested in what's going on with this character at King's Landing. It's all been incredible. Oh yeah, and then we had the scenes with Daenerys going to this new uh, community called Karth, I think. Very cool place, at least from the little shot we saw of it. I'm very excited to see more of that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of this episode. If you want to see the full uncut reaction that'll be on my Patreon, link to that is in the description down below, as well as early access to these videos. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out, everyone.